Hello, this is Ashley, a technical writer with the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. In cPanel and WHM version 76, we introduced server profiles and WHM's new server profile interface. So what is a server profile and why would you want to use one? Server profiles are a collection of roles and roles define the services a profile is capable of providing to a server. This new server interface allows you to select a server profile based on the types of services that you want your server to provide. Before we get started, there are a few important notes. First, this feature contains some experimental features. We recommend that you do not use these experimental features on a production server. Also, we strongly advise that you cannot change the server's profile if at least one account exists on the server. You must remove all user accounts before you can select a server profile. If any accounts exist on the server, you must back up all of your user accounts, remove the accounts, select your server profile, and then transfer the accounts back onto the server. Let's go ahead and get logged into our WHM account. On the WHM interface, let's click Server Profile from the Server Configuration menu here. The Server Profile interface will appear. On this interface, we can select our desired profile from a list of available options. The standard node profile is the default profile for servers. This profile provides all services and access to every cPanel and WHM feature. When you upgrade to cPanel and WHM version 76, this is the profile that the system selects for your server. Other profiles, however, have specific roles that allow us to configure our server to perform a specific function. Also, the star icon here indicates that this is the profile currently selected for our server. For this tutorial, let's say that we want our server to be a mail-only server. First, let's select the mail node profile server option here. Great, but you may ask, what roles does the server profile enable or disable? If I click the information icon here, the system displays a list of the roles affected by this profile. This also disables any API functions or calls associated with that profile's roles. When we select a role that disables services, the system removes its corresponding features from WHM and cPanel's interfaces. Let's click Continue. Since the mail node profile has optional roles available, the system directs us to the Select Options interface. This interface allows us to select whether we want to enable any optional roles for a profile, if any exist. If we select a profile that does not have any optional roles, the interface will skip this step. So, for example, if we select the database node profile, the interface takes us to the Review Changes interface because there are no optional roles for this profile. Let's click Cancel and return to our mail node profile setup. For this tutorial, let's disable the DNS role, but keep the optional spam filter role enabled. Set the toggle to Disable DNS, then click Continue. The system directs us to the Review Changes interface, which lets us review all the changes the system will make when it sets this profile. It displays that there are no roles to enable in the green box, that it disables the roles listed in the yellow box, and that this change does not affect the roles listed in the gray box. This looks good, so let's click Set Profile to proceed. The system directs us to the Activating Profile interface. Here, the system automatically begins to configure our server with the mail node profile. We can review the activation log in real time with the Show Details option here, or we can review the system logs at the provided directory path here. Note that if we close this browser window, the activation process will continue in the background. This process may take some time, so feel free to grab yourself a snack. After the process completes, the interface displays that the activation process succeeded. We're done, so we can return to the Select Profile interface to select a different profile, revise our current profile selection, or return to the WHM dashboard. Let's return to the WHM dashboard. The system now displays at the top of our WHM interface that we are on the mail node server profile. Thanks for watching. 
I've included a link to our interface documentation in the video description below. I've also included some supplementary documentation to explain server profiles and roles. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you're up to date with our tutorial and video releases. If you'd like more information about cPanel, visit us at cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. And while you're there, let us know what tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.